What's up guys, Kets here and welcome to a brand new episode of Back to Front. Today we have Javi Martinez, the Bayern Munich Spanish team of the season central defensive midfielder. So as always, we are playing him as striker. If you don't know what this series is, we take centre-backs and we take defensive midfielders and we just stick them up top and see how they, got, uh, how they get on. I'll show you the exact ratio for Javi Martinez in a second, but before we get stuck into it, what I do want to say is if you guys want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcointraders.com. There's a link to them in the description down below as always. Always. Anyway, we're going to look at some of his key striker stats now. And first, we have got 73 finishing, which is really good. 71 long shots, 83 shot power, 79 dribbling, and the massive 92 heading. Amazing heading there. Of course, his passing and defending stats are some of his higher parts, some of his better parts. And he is very, very slow with just 63 pace. But believe it or not, this is what he managed to do for me as a striker. So Javi Martinez here subbed him on as a striker in his defensive mid card and got 12 goals in 10 games for me. That is impressive. Now, uh, I spent a lot of the time using him in that new tournament. If you don't know what it is, it's called like Liga Primera or, so, or Primera Liga. Basically, you need four Prem players, four Liga BBVA players, and that is all you need. That's just in your starting 11. So, I basically built a team around that and then subbed him on as striker, which means he gets full chemistry up there, and he absolutely ripped it up. We did have David Luiz earlier on, but uh, later on, it was we just ended up using him as well, but... Um, some of his finishes were absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, one of his key parts as well was his incredible positioning. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about his positioning other than that it was just perfect. He was always in the right place at the right time, and it was just so, so useful. And uh, I've just quickly got some of his uh, stats up now on the screen, on my screen. Uh, he's got 74 positioning, but it just it doesn't seem right because he was always in places to get the ball straight to his feet and... And the ball did always seem to drop perfectly down to him. Through balls, he was always in the right place at the right time, like corners, everything. He was, his positioning was outstanding. Uh, in terms of his work rates, he has uh, medium attacking and medium defensive. So that means he does get back a bit, as you can see there. Um, he was very far forward, but he does also get back when needed. But that, it doesn't really affect you. He's still, like I said, always up there. Look at that perfect position there for that ball. He's always up there when you really need him. Uh, some of his other stats as well, he's got like 93 standing tackle, which is really useful if you want to play a high tempo, high attacking, uh, like attacking or ultra attacking game, because it means he can win you the ball high up the pitch and then go on really good attacks. Look at that there as well, 99 strength he's got, which means it's perfect to hold him players off. There you could see it was just so useful as he literally just shrugged the player off as if he wasn't there at all. And... When a player has such good strength, uh, I sometimes feel like it seems... Look at that goal as well. It sometimes fi uh, feels as if he's got better pace because he can, like, if he's running alongside another player, even if that player's got more uh, more, uh, more pace, rather, he can use his strength to pull them back and slow them down and uh, not really have much of an issue at losing the ball if there's someone running alongside him. His actual pace, though, is shocking. 69 acceleration and 60 sprint speed is terrible. It means he's, like, basically never, ever going to outpace any player on here. But yeah, he still sometimes does, and he gets onto through balls and stuff like that. So, um... I'll be honest with you, uh, I wouldn't really recommend to use any of these players as a striker, but for what he's worth, like actually sticking him in striker, if you had to do it, I'd definitely recommend him. I've given him an 8.5 out of 10. To score 12 goals in 10 games is really quite special, and it's not like I was concentrating on getting goals with him because I was getting goals with David Luiz. I was getting goals with other players like Ramirez and Diaby from midfield were banging in goals. So I would actually genuinely recommend him as a striker if you really feel like doing something uh, just completely random, as he was actually decent 12 goals in 10 games you cannot complain about that but that is the end of this episode guys thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like if you did subscribe to this channel if you haven't already have a nice day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye